Titan Football, it's Friday Night Live. Welcome back, Titan fans, to the ninth game of the 2011 season. Tonight, your San Clemente Tritons take on the Mission Viejo Diablos here at Mission Viejo High School. Please join your Friday Night Live broadcast crew on our eighth year of providing live video coverage of Triton football over the internet. Join Bill Edwards, Ben Villa, and myself, Rich Quarter, for the play-by-play -play of tonight's game. Before turning the show over to Ben, we'd like to hear a word about our sponsors. We'd like to thank our uh, Friday Night Live sponsors. Our main sponsor, Greeks Concrete, Doug Greek. Satusa, the Council for Educational Travel, USA, Rick and Aya. Little Page Landscaping, Paul Little Page. Little Page Automotive, Lark, Mark Little Page. The OC Tavern, Michael Merrigan. Rocco, Custom Remodeling, Reno and Greg. And South Coast Distributing, the Aaron Family. If not for our Friday Night Live sponsors, we wouldn't be able to bring you tonight's broadcast. It's with their support that uh, we've been here for eight years now bringing you the show. These are ex-Tritons and local uh, businessmen in town that uh, donate to Friday Night Live. Ben, go ahead, take it away. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we bring uh, you tonight's game between San Clemente and Mission Viejo. And San Clemente comes in tonight with an 8-0 record, and it's the only undefeated team in Orange County. And the, we're checking back on our records. The last time San Clemente was 8-0 was in 1972 when that San Clemente team went 11-0 uh, and, and then lost in the finals, CIF finals, to Sonora. Uh, tonight, we got the ball. Uh, we San Clemente has a 2-0 league record, and they get by this game. Next week, they'll be playing to Soro for their final league game. And San Clemente comes in averaging almost 33 points per game, and they're led by Mike Ellisporo and Nick Pasquale. Ellisporo has 11 TDs this year, and Pasquale follows him with, uh, I'm sorry, Ellisporo has 11 TDs, and Pasquale has uh, 8. And on the rushing side for San Clemente, they are, for a team, they are averaging 251 yards per game. And the rushing team is being led by uh, Mike Ellisboro, who has, for the year has gained 958 yards, and he's on 131 carries. He's uh, averaging 7.3 yards per carry and 137 yards per game. So he's going to be carrying the uh, load for the rushing offense for San Clemente. And on the receiving end, San Clemente is led by Nick Pasquale with 15 receptions, followed by Jake Grav with 13. That's Again, better, that's better. He's averaging 132.9 yards per game, and he's thrown for 12 TDs. On the defensive side of San Clemente, they're being led by Chad Foster with 43 tackles, Herbert Gamboa with 44 tackles, Nico Roberti with 27, and Landon Cook with 36. And all those young men are all linebackers, which it means San Clemente has been playing outstanding defense when your linebackers are making all the tackles and the uh, runners aren't, ball carriers aren't getting to the defensive backfield. Mission Viejo comes in tonight with a 5-2 and two record and they're 1-0 oh in the league. They lost to Don Bosco of New Jersey and Redlands East Valley and they beat Centennial Bakersfield, La Quinta, Long Beach Poly, Carson and uh, two weeks ago, they beat Dana Hills for their first league win. Mission Viejo comes in averaging 19, just under 20 points per game. And they average 87 yards per game, led by Marcus Collins and Janelle Pinner. On the receiving end, they're led by Max Redfield and O.J. Wilson. And their offense is led by quarterback Alex Bridgefort. And Mission Viejo is about to kick off. Rich? Here okay, go. here we go. San Clemente is going to be receiving the kickoff. It's hard to see here because the fans are all standing in front of the booth. But the kick is going to go into the end zone, and San Clemente is going to start off on the 20-yard line, moving right to left across the computer screen. 
and this is a huge ball game tonight. Number two, Sangomeni against number three, Mission Viejo. And I think the key to tonight is can Mission stop Sangomeni's running game? And if they do come up, put eight in the box, because they'll probably try to stop the running game, what's Travis Wilson and the receivers going to do? And Travis Wilson is such a threat at throwing the ball and running the ball, it's going to make one heck of a ball game tonight. So Sangomeni takes the field on offense. Travis Wilson up under center, eye formation, single receiver to each side. First play of the game. Give up the left side. Ellis Peru, and he gets out to the 24-yard line for a four-yard gain. It's a way to start it off, four yards. And tackles made by number one, Max Redfield. Comes in from his free safety position. And Sacramento comes in this year with a balanced attack both on the rushing game and on the passing. They're, they're averaging as a team per game 251 yards and passing. So second down, offset eye, two receivers to the right. 11.22 to go in the first quarter, no score here from Mission Viejo. The give on the left side to Ellis Baru. And he gets about one yard to the 25 yard line where it's gonna be a first, second down I make that third down and five. We got us uh, tonight. We're all squeezed into one little portion of this uh, press box up here at Mission Viejo. There's three of us in this one window, and I can't even see the scoreboard unless I lean out the window. So if we hesitate just for a second, it's because we got to kind of look, and then we got fans standing in front of us. So big third down here. Wilson up under center, split backs. Single receiver to the right. Single receiver to the left. Third down and five. Five-step drop. Wilson's running around the right side. And he gets knocked out of bounds at the 26-yard line. It's going to bring up a punting situation. He had some running room going around the right side, but uh, Mission Viejo closed quickly. So fourth down punting situation. And tonight's game is going to be a, a little bit of a con contrast to the offense since uh, Sacramento has a very balanced offensive tack. Snap, snap to Alvarez. The kick is up. It's going to be fielded in the 43 yard line. He fumbles the ball. It's picked up. Uh, the but uh, Mission Viejo got the ball back. So it's going to be Mission Viejo's ball. First and 10 on the 41 yard line. With good field position, they're going to be moving left to right across your computer screen in a huge game, South Coast League action, Mission Viejo against undefeated San Clemente. And that was almost a deadly mistake for Mission Viejo. Unfortunately for San Clemente, it was not a very good punt, and Mission Viejo will start their offense right on their own 41-yard uh, yard line, and they're going to have a short field of work on their very first offensive series. So first down, balls at the 41-yard line, I formation, single receiver to the left, single receiver to the right, Bridgeford up under center. It's a pass in the first play, complete to receiver 82, Neville. Our first down is going to be out to the 45-yard line of San Clemente. That tackle is made by Christian Tober, number four, the right side cornerback. So first down, ball's actually going to be at the 48-yard line of San Clemente. And just like that, first play of the game, Mission Viejo starts off with a pass on a first down. Two receivers to the right. Single setback. Two tight ends. Bridgeford up under center. Bridgeford going to roll out around the right side. Open receiver to number 42. Colin, sorry, make that number 24, D.J. Wilson. Another first down. That tackle was made by Marcus Meredith. Marcus Meredith. So ball's going to be right at the 33-yard line. Another first down for Mission Viejo. This time I formation, single receiver to the left. Double tight. Two tackles to the left side to give up the left side. Big running back, Buzzy Yokohama. 
who's been injured all year, and he's back now. So the ball's going to be right at the 28-yard line, where it's going to be second down. Second down and about six. That tackle was made both by uh, Chad Foster and Julian Perry. 9.35 to go here in the first quarter. Yeah, Ben, I just can see if I look out the third window to my right, I can see the scoreboard. <laughs> single receiver to the left, single receiver to the right. Bridgeford. And he's going to be sacked! Back at the 35-yard line. That sack was uh, came from the outside linebacker, number 20, Herbert Gamboa. And the linebackers lead San Clemente with... Uh, Leading tacklers and Landon Cook, number 43, was also in there for a tackle. So ball's going to be right at the 33-yard line. It's going to third, third down and 10. Spread formation, three receivers to the right. Single receiver to the left. Bridgeford is in shotgun. A three-step drop. Underneath, receiver. And the Max Redfield... And he's going to be all the way down to the 12-yard line of San Clemente for a first down, Mission Viejo. Tackle is made by number 43, Landon Cook, and Christian Bailey, number 20. I'm sorry, number 30. So first down and 10, balls at the 13-yard line. So far, Mission is moving on their first drive. Two receivers to the left. Double type formation. Yokoyama's the all back. They give Yokoyama the left side. He's got a little bit of running room. He's going to be tackled at the five yard line. Tackles Boy, he's by, fast. Tackle was made by Christian Bailey. Came up from his strong safety position. I remember last year, uh, Yokoyama, he came from uh, Newport Harbor. And I remember when we played them last year, he got hurt in either the first or the second quarter. And then he transferred to Mission Viejo this year. And he got hurt in the first first or second game of the season. And he just came back tonight's his first night back. So single receiver to the right, right, double tight. Eye formation to give up the left side. The Yokoyama is going to be stopped for no gain. Which would be third down and about two. 7.21 here to go in the first quarter. No score. And it looks like the tackle was made by Kyle Murphy. Tell you, big old Murph, man. This is a tough matchup for, for both these schools tonight. Single receiver to the right. Eye formation. Bridgeford up under center. The toss on the right side to Yokoyama and a, a missed tackle. And he's into the end zone for a touchdown. And Mission Viejo draws first blood on the five-yard run by Yokoyama on the right side to give Mission Viejo a six-to-nothing lead here in the first quarter. Well, this is not good for Sacramento's side. They went three and out, couldn't do much in the first series, and then Mission on a short field from the own 41-yard line goes the length of the field and scores. And Mission was, uh, they're mixing it up, uh, passing and running the ball. So, uh... The kick is up and the kick is good. So it's 7 nothing, 6.50 to go in the first quarter. And we'd like to thank our Friday Night Live sponsors, Greeks Concrete, Doug Greek, Satusa, the Council for Educational Travel USA, Rick Anaya, Little Page Landscaping, Paul Little Page, Little Page Automotive, Mark Little Page, The OC Tavern, Michael Merrigan, Rocco Custom Remodeling, Reno and Greg, at South Coast Distributing, the Aaron's Family, if it weren't for the sponsorship from our Friday Night Live sponsors, we wouldn't bring you our, be able to bring our program in our eighth year. These are ex-Triton alumni and local businessmen that uh, donate to our program, and that's how we're able to bring you this program, and we do appreciate your business. So please go to our sponsor site, check out our sponsors, and if you give them some business, please feel free to do so. They deserve it. It looks like Mission Vieira is going to be standing up every time they kick the ball off. So, 
Kick is going to be filled by Tober at the 3, to the 5, to the 15, to the 20. It's going to be brought down, trying to look in between fans here, right at the 20-yard line, maybe close to the 21. Where it's going to be first down, San Clemente moving right to left across your computer screen, trailing 7 nothing here in the first quarter. San Clemente's going to have to make a point of uh, uh, sustaining a drive here on the second down. They went three and out the very first time they got the ball. So they, they got to get some momentum back into their offense by uh, getting a few first downs and moving the ball. Two receivers to the left. Offset eye formation. Wilson up under center. The handoff. To Ellis Peru, and he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe lost, maybe a yard on that. So it's going to be second down and about 11. That tackle was made by number 30. I'm sorry, yeah, number 30, uh, Colin Dunsmore. We already have uh, about 100 people watching the game right now. Make sure to uh, give us a uh, shout out here. Get on the chat. Let us know who you are. You know, let us tell us about you. If you got a a fan or a son or nephew or somebody playing on the team, spread formation. Three receivers to the left, in and out of the hands on the pass from Wilson. It was intended for number 36. That's Xavier Washington, and it was in and out of his hands. So it's going to be third down and 11. Well, Sacramento's got to get a first down here. They can't afford to give the ball right back to, to Mission Viejo because they had a fairly easy first series of downs that got them a, a touchdown. So this is an important third down situation for Sacramento. Dub, Dubs formation, Wilson's in gun. Two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. Big third down, third down 11. Sacramento trails 7 nothing here in the first quarter. Three-step drop, Wilson under pressure. He's going around the right side. He throws it, just underthrows the receiver. It would have been a first down. It was uh, intended for number six, Marcus Meredith, and he was, he, was he was there. He was there. Had he caught that, had that ball been completed, it would have been a first down. But instead, San Clemente is going to have to punt. And when they say this game is a matter of inches, that was it right there. It was just underthrown. And that would have been a first down, San Clemente. So San Clemente's going to punt. Alvarez is going to be standing back around the five-yard line. And I tell you what, Bishop uh, Hill is going to get the ball around the 50-yard line midfield. The ball bounces the field at the 41 to the 45. Out to the 48-yard line where, again, Bishop yeah. Hill is going to start over about midfield. Uh, last series they started on the 41, and this series they're starting on the 46-yard line. So he stepped out of bounds back at the 46-yard line where it's going to be first and 10. Mission Viejo moving left to right across your computer screen. San Clemente trails 5.37 to go here in the first quarter. They trail 7-0. And there's a real good chance that the winner of this game tonight is going to win this South Coast League. Two receivers to the right. Bridgeford up under center. Give on the right side. Running room, Yokoyama. He's out to the, almost to the 45-yard line, where it looks like it's just going to be short of the first down. And Mission Viejo is having a little trouble running the football right now. That tackle is made by Chad Foster, number 52. Yeah, and uh, Mission Viejo is having an easy time right now. Of course, Sacramento's defense has been there almost the entire first quarter. The offense has only been in there for th six plays. So two receivers to the right. Double tight. He was moving the ball, running. Looks like Marcus Meredith is getting up slow at the 30-yard line. A tackle is made by Herbert Gamboa, the outside linebacker, but he had to chase him down. He, he got to the outside and had a lot of room on the outside to run. So right now, Mission Viejo is having an easy time with San Clemente. So it's going to be first down. Ball is going to be at the 15-yard line. 4:44 to go in the first quarter. San Clemente trails seven nothing. 
And Mission Viejo has not had a lot of trouble running the ball. Looks like they're happy to have Yokoyama back. Uh, Marcus Meredith had to be uh, helped off the field. So Mission Viejo is driving. San Clemente is getting a little bit of hole here. Two receivers to the left. Double tight formation. And it's going to be timeout Mission Viejo. So timeout, 4.20 due to go in the uh, first quarter. San Clemente yeah. behind, 7 nothing. We want to thank our Friday Night Live sponsors. Greeks Concrete, Doug Greek, Satusa, the Council for Educational Travel, Rick Anaya, Little Page Landscaping, Paul Little Page, Little Page Automotive, Mark Little Page, the OC Tavern, Michael Merrigan, Rocco Custom Remodeling, Reno and Greg, and South Coast Distributing, the Aarons Family. We appreciate the support of our Friday Night Live sponsors. And Sacramento is going to have to get the defense going here, stop that run from Mission Viejo. They split out one receiver. They'll have uh, two tackles planned to one side of their formation with uh, two tight ends. Sometimes they'll have a tackle on the other side also. So everybody else is on the line. They have one receiver split, and then they have the one running back. It's kind of strange, not strange, but Mission Viejo is only averaging 87 yards per game rushing. And right now it looks like, that's their entire offense. That's because, uh, uh, yeah, Yogoyama's been, been out, and now he's back, and what a difference he's making tonight so far. Spread formation, three receivers to the left, single receiver to the right, Yogoyama, the lone setback. The give to Yogoyama has got more running room, and he's going to go in again into the end zone for a touchdown, Mission Viejo, and they score again on a 15-yard scamper by Yogoyama who's already scored twice. Well, Mission Viejo's gone on a 59-yard march for the first score and a 54-yard march for the second score. And San Clemente's been only on the field for six offensive plays. Getting ready for that PAT. Kick is up. And the kick is good, and with 4.14 to go in the first quarter, Sacramento now trails 14 to nothing. And Sacramento is going to have to come out here and get moving on the offense. They don't dare go another three and out and then have to punt again. What Mission Viego, at least thus far in the first two series, they've just shut down Sacramento's passing. They've forced uh, Trevor to run with the ball every time he sets back to throw. He has not had any open receivers, made a couple of throws, but one throw went, was short, and another ball was dropped. But San Clemente's offense has yet to show up tonight. Man, every time they go to kick, all the fans stand up in front of our window, and we just can't see anything. So the kick is up. It's going to be into the end zone where San Clemente is going to take over the 20-yard line, moving right to left across your computer screen. They trail 14 to nothing. And one of the things we talked about at the beginning of the game was uh, tonight's game, how important it would be for San Clemente to uh, you know, play a, a clean game, no mistakes, no turnovers. And uh, I think what San Clemente has to worry about right now, at least so far, is the stopping the running game of Mission Viejo. And Yokoyama, who's just returned for the team, he's been running, running all over these last two drives. I formation, Wilson up under center. The give on the left side to Gamboa, or make that uh, Ellis Peru. And he gets about, about three yards, so it's to be second down and about seven. 3.58 here to go in the first quarter. San Clemente trails 14-0. It looks like the tackle was made by number 45, Colin Shore. So San Clemente running a double-type formation. Everybody on the line. They got two backs in an eye formation. They give on the left side. Ellis Peru gets out to the 25-yard line. 
where it's going to be another big third down now. It's going to be third down and five. 3.24 to go here in the first quarter. San Clemente trails 14 to nothing. And this is a big uh, third down here. San Clemente has got to get a first down and move these chains. If they don't get the first down, they're going to have to kick again, and Mission's going to ha you know, be getting the ball. It's going to be timeout San Clemente. So anyway, Mission, we, do, we don't want to not get the first down and then give Mission the ball at midfield again, the way they've been running the ball. So with that timeout, we want to thank our Friday Night Live sponsors. Greece Concrete, Doug Greek, Satusa, the Council for Educational Travel, you, Rick and Aya, Little Page Landscaping, Paul Little Page, Little Page Automotive, Mark Little Page, the OC Tavern, Michael Merrigan, Rocco Custom Remodeling, Reno and Greg, and South Coast Distributing, the Aaron's Family. We appreciate the support of our Friday Night Live sponsors. These are ex Triton alumni and local businessmen that support Friday Night Live, and let's just bring you this, our program. We've been doing it for eight years now. So, Ben, what do you think about the running of uh, Mission so far? Well, it doesn't seem like San Clemente has, is able to stop them right now. But the San Clemente's got to work on their offense. For those of you who are concerned about the county rankings, uh, San Clemente has been, was voted second and Mission Viejo third. So I think everybody was anticipating a great game tonight, offensively and defensively. But thus far, it's been an all-Mission Viejo game. Spread formation, three receivers to the left. Single receiver to the right. Mission showing blitz. Wilson and Gunn. A big third down. Sacramento goes empty backfield. And it looks like a false start, Sacramento. So that's going to bring the ball back five yards. So it's going to be third down and ten instead of third down and five. That's a mistake. How can you call a timeout and then get a delayed game? So the ball's going to be at the 20-yard line. Now it's third down and 10. Play coming in from the sideline. Actually, Wilson goes over there talking to Troy Kopp, who's the offensive coordinator. John Hamro, the new head coach this year. Jaime Ortiz, the defensive coordinator. These guys have been doing a great job this year. Two receivers to the right. Single receiver to the left. Wilson and Gunn. Mission showing blitz again. Wilson steps up in the pocket. Overthrows the receiver, Jake Graff. And uh, it, it, it brings up a fourth down, a punting situation. So fourth and ten. And this is this is the other thing we we're talking about is Mission is, tr is taking away the, that they were going to, their game plan tonight, Mission, was to come in and take away San Clemente's running game and force Travis Wilson to throw the ball. And so far, that's what they've done. And uh, Mission's going to get the ball again. Takes a San Clemente bounce this time. Goes down to the right around the 31-yard line. It's going to be at the 31-yard line where they're going to have their worst field position of the night. They had it on the 41 and the 48, and they scored both times. So with 2.55 to go here in the first quarter, San Clemente trails 14-0. San Clemente defense is now again on the field. They're going to have to figure out how to stop the running back, Yogayama. Well, as well as he's been running, why would you change your game plan just keep giving him the ball? The only time they're going to change their game plan is if Sacramento figure out, figures out a way to stop him. Well, they're going to have to, yeah, they're going to have to stop this right now. Yogayama's not in there right now. Motion. They give on the left side. The running back was number 14, Hunter Remington. It's going to get about three yards where it's going to be second down and seven. Uh, tackle is made by Nico Roberta, the out right side outside linebacker. Nico Roberta, his dad, Reno, is one of our Friday Night Live sponsors of Reno Custom Remodeling. He's uh, supportive of us, he supported Friday Night Live for the last four years. We appreciate him and all of our other Friday Night Live sponsors. Three receivers to the left. Single receiver to the right. Yokoyama, the toss on the left side. Breaks a tackle. They had him stopped for a loss. And he's out to the 44-yard line where it's going to be first down. Mission Viejo and San Clemente had him stopped behind the line of scrimmage, but a high tackle. He was able to spin free and ran for a first down. And Christian Bailey from a safety position had to come up and make the tackle. 
Uh, boy, that was uh, not very good tackling by the San Clemente defense. He had a chance to tackle him for a loss, and he gets away and goes for a first down. So 1.53 to go here in the first quarter. San Clemente trails 14 to nothing. Two receivers to the left. Double tight formation. Whistles are blown. What is that, maybe too much time, maybe? Delay a game? Yeah, delay a Okay, game. so it's going to come back. It's a mistake by mission. So that brings us back to the 39-yard 39 39-yard line, where it's going to be first down and 15. San Clemente in the first quarter, trailing 14 to nothing here at Mission Viejo. Both teams are 2-0 and in league. San Clemente 8-0 eight and, eight and overall. Mission Viejo 6-2. Long pass, well defended by Tober, and they're saying it's pass interference. Oh my goodness, Tober got up there and made a great defensive play. And they're going to call that against Christian Tober, and that was a great play by Tober. Oh my goodness. Well, Mission's going to get a first down on that play. Oh, oh man. So ball is going to be spotted at the 46 yard line of San Clemente. I don't know folks, I tell you, not just because it's San Clemente, but I watched that play and Tober made a great play, got up there and knocked that ball down. I don't know how they called that. How they called that uh, pass interference. So ball is at the 46 yard line. 135 to go in the first quarter. San Clemente trails 14 0. San Clemente does not want Mission to score here. Eye formation. Single receiver split to either side. Bridgeford looking to pass on the left side. Just another hitch. Broke another tackle. It's complete to number seven, Rulin. And it's going to be about the. 37 yard line that's gonna be close to a first down maybe nope. just a little short, short 38 yard. yard line San Clemente's got to wrap up on these tackles again it was a high tackle and Ruin spun free just a yard short of the first down now so two receivers to make that spread formation three receivers to the right single receiver to the left Ruin up under center quarterback keeper and he's going to be across to the 34-yard line, make that 33-yard line for a first down, Diablos. And they're moving the chains again, running that football and throwing. Mostly running, but every once in a while they'll throw, the, throw that pass, and the receivers have been open. This is the time where the defensive has been out there so long, they're not only getting physically tired, now it's a mental game, because now they're feeling they can't stop them mentally. So... I mean, the uh, kids are just going to have to step up, make a real conservative effort, and not let them get a score. Two receivers to the right. Yeah, we have about 140 listeners right now out there in Triton land. Turn it into Friday Night Live. Rubens rolling out on the side. Wide. Wide. Wide open, but it went off the hands. Oh, that was lucky for San Clemente. That should have been six points for Mission Viejo. So, oh, San Clemente yeah. got lucky on that one. Yeah, he was being covered by number, by number 30, Christian Bailey, who I think probably lost track on because he was wide open. Oh, my goodness. Single receiver to the right, eye formation, Bridgeford up under center. The toss on the right side. Looks like uh, the line for mission, somebody moved, maybe 77, not sure. That's going to come back five yards. Well, hey. Let them start making some uh, mistakes here. We got 15 seconds left in the Fif first quarter. 15 seconds to go in the first quarter. San Clemente trails 14 nothing, And it's going to be second down at about 15. No, this is an Ball. opportunity San Clemente has to stop them. Ball's going to be spotted at the 38-yard line. Two receivers to the right. Two receivers to the left. 
Bridgeford and Gunn. The, the draw to Yokoyama. This oh, he had him. He spun loose again. This time he's brought down though at the 43-yard line. And he was tackled by number number 45 for Sacramento, Austin Baker. One of the Tritons had him at first, and he broke free. Then Baker made the tackle to save. So it uh, looks like he lost maybe another yard or two on that. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter. Sacramento trails 14 to nothing. And we want to thank again our Friday Night Live sponsors, Greeks Concrete, Doug Greek, Satusa, the Council for Educational Travel USA, Rick and I Little Page, Automo Little Page Landscaping, Paul Littlepage. Little Page Automotive, Mark Littlepage. The OC Tavern, Michael Merrigan. Rocco Custom Remodeling, Reno and Greg. And South Coast Distributing, the Aarons Family. We appreciate the support of our Friday Night Live sponsors. There are ex Triton alumni and local businessmen that make donations to our program and allow us to bring you this uh, video broadcast in our eighth season. We appreciate their support. Please go to our Triton homepage, our Friday Night Live homepage, and click on Sponsors, and look at our sponsors, and if you uh, can give them some business, or you know somebody else, or have somebody else that might be interested, please give them any type of business you can. These guys are great guys, and they do one heck of a job supporting Friday Night Live, and we do appreciate our Friday Night Live sponsors. So a couple of mistakes on this drive by Mission Viejo. Well, let's see if Sacramento can hold them here. It's third down. So third down, about 20. Two receivers to the left. Two receivers to the right. We need a nice sack. Now we got a penalty. It looks like Christian Tober lined up offside. Now they're going to call him for being offsides. Oh, we had too many people on the field. Sacramento had 12 men on the field. Oh, how did he count him? He, referee on this side of the field. Yeah, they just took off. Uh, uh, I, can't, I don't remember what number that was, but he ran off the field. Oh, my goodness. So now it's third down and 15 balls at the 38-yard line. So this is a big third down for the San Clemente defense. They have played outstanding all year. Let's see him step up here and stop this. Three receivers to the left. Heavy blitz by Sacramento. Oh, in and out of the hands. Nice job. That was great uh, defense by Sacramento. That was by Nick Pasquale who came out and tipped the ball away. But Wilson was way open. So that was a nice job by the San Clemente defense. Just knocked the ball out of the receiver's hands. And you're going to have Christian, Christian Tober is going to be standing back at the 10-yard line. And does uh, Mr. Villa have enough guys on the field? Now they're sending somebody out there. I guess they're not used to punting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so San Clemente defense steps up. Like I said, the defense has been playing great all year. Tober going to let the ball bounce into the end zone where San Clemente is going to take over on the 20-yard line, moving left to right across your computer screen. 11.47 to go in the second quarter. San Clemente trails 14-0. Here those scores, 14-0. It's a long, still a long, a lot of ball game left, but San Clemente has got to make a, make uh, get some momentum on their side and start controlling the ball and get an offensive um, score here pretty quick. So San Clemente takes a field. Of course they're right in front of a big speaker that we're trying to look around. Single receiver to either side, I formation, Wilson up under center, the give on the left side, no. Wilson dumps it off on the right side to Landon Cook. And he gets out to the 30-yard line. Well, it's going to be close to first down. It should be a first down. Yes, it is. That's going to move the chains. So that was a nice job by uh, Wilson, who booted out around the left or right side of the formation after faking the hands handoff to the left. 
Nice catch by Landon Cook. That tackle was made by number 11, Ryan Pisak for Mission Viejo. Single receiver to the left, single receiver to the right. Eye formation, Wilson up under center. See if the offense gets moving now. The toss on the left side to Ellis Peru. And he gets uh, maybe a two yard gain. And I tell you what, so far this year, San Clemente hasn't seen uh, somebody stop in our running game like this. A tackle is made by number 66, Garrett Marino. Normally you see Ellis Peru running up and down the, uh, the field, and tonight Mission Viejo is uh, making a tough time at it for him. So second down, making about seven now. San Clemente trails 14-0 in the second quarter. Toss on the right side, Ellis Peru. And he's going to be dropped for a loss all the way back at the 29-yard line. Tried to run a toss to the right side. Wow. And he lost, uh, what, about five yards maybe? Yeah, Four had, yards, something? They just pitched the ball out to him, and he had no lead blocking at all. He was out there by himself. Uh, whoever that defender was, he was just standing there waiting for him. Yeah, that was number 43. For, uh, for mission. So third down and 11. Single receiver to the right. Single receiver to the left. Big third down for San Clemente. They've got to get a first down. Trying to throw a screen complete to Pasquale. And there's two penalty flags, and he's still on his feet. Let's see what the penalty flag is. I think it's going to be holding it it's, uh, in the backfield. It's going to go against San Clemente. Looked like. Uh, Murphy was out there trying to plead his case, but to no avail, penalty's going to be against Sacramento. So, it was holding and blocking the back, so Mission's going to uh, decline it, and San Clemente again is going to punt. And uh, again, Mission Viejo should get good field position. Last time they got it at the 31-yard line, that was the worst position they had so far. They had it so far in the 31, the 41, and the 48. Mission Viejo has scored on two of its possessions, two of its three possessions. Alvarez, nice punt by Alvarez, going to be fielded at the 28-yard line. To the 30, and going to be brought down about the 33-yard line. There's a flag. It's going to be a flag on the play. The tackle is made by Nico Roberti, number 29 for San Clemente. But there's a flag in the backfield also for the punter. So we got a couple flags, one up here where the ball is. And then one back where the punter was, Alvarez. Let's see what it is. Oh, face masking San Clemente. So it should be offsetting. Personal foul, Mission Viejo. And Bob Johnson yelling on the sideline wants to know what the penalties are. Uh, he's not a happy camper down there. When is he ever a happy camper? Uh, after a <laughs> At the end, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, he loves to uh, mix it up with the referees. Always gets away with it, too. Yeah, certain coaches get certain calls, and other coaches get different calls. So, 9.31 to go in the uh, second quarter. San Clemente trails 14 to nothing. Want to thank our Friday Night Live sponsors. And look at uh, Johnson still talking to official. He's not going to change the call. Our main sponsor, Greeks Concrete, Doug Greek, Satusa, the Council for Educational Travel, USA, Rick Anaya, Little Page Landscaping, Paul Little Page, Little Page Automotive, Mark Little Page, The OC Tavern, Michael Merrigan, Rocco Custom Remodeling, Reno and Greg, and South Coast Distributing, The Aarons Family. We appreciate the support of our Friday Night Live sponsors. 
And so far, it's been uh, pretty much all Mission Viejo in this uh, in the first quarter, and now a few minutes here in the uh, second quarter. And uh, Bob Johnson is still arguing with the officials, but still not going to change anything. I know, but you know what? He may not change him, but he's making a point, so they won't make a call against him the rest of the night. He's just trying to get into their skin. But that's what uh, good coaches do. Uh, he has a character. Okay, so <laughs> that's funny. The announcer here on top just said, okay, I guess we're not going to kick now. So that was a long delay. It was the Bob Johnson show. Ball's going to be marched off against Mission. Here's what it, they, uh, it said that the penalty, it looked like you said the penalty against San Clemente was declined, but the penalty against, uh, then they marched off the penalty against Mission. So Mission's back on the, uh, looks like the 17-yard line. This has been the deepest start. You know why I think it was uh, Marshall against uh, Mission? Because it happened after a change of possession. Could be. I, I know John Hamrow's out there now talking to the officials. He figures, hell, let's make it the John Hamrow show for a while. Well, Bob Johnson got what we wanted, a 15-yard penalty against uh, Mission Viejo. Don't tell me they're going to move the ball again. Okay, now he's running back over to uh, Bob, Bob Johnson again. So now it's the Bob Johnson show. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on out there. I think what the only thing I can probably surmise is that he's arguing about the, the penalty being marched up against him. I think he's probably saying there should be offsetting penalties. But if they're off any penalties, San Clemente would be punting the ball. And they marched it off against Mission, so I'm assuming that they're marching it off because there was a change of possession of the ball. So here we go. Let's see what happens. Personal foul. Face mask, San Clemente. What the heck? Now they changed his mind again. So now that they've changed, the, they've changed it again. It looks like San Clemente is going to have to re-kick. So uh, looks like Bob, Bob Johnson got it. Yeah, the Bob Johnson show. Bob got his way. Well, we got to get Hammer out there more often. <laughs> well, so well, Hammer went out. Hammer was talking to him, and then next thing you know, they changed the calls, and it's. Uh, he went back over to Johnson. Now the San Clemente's going to punt again. And uh, well, Mission Vale well, had been on the 23-yard line. So now I have no idea what just happened. Unless that just was, unless it was just a matter of offsetting penalties. Well, the way they're doing it now, it's offsetting penalties. Well, I now, don't, now they're marking it off against San Clemente. Oh my goodness! It must have been that both calls were on San Clemente then. No, no, now it says, what the heck? No, they're coming back. Now they're now they're marching off the penalty against Mission Viejo. Oh, they marched off first against Sacramento and then against Mission Viejo, so. And they will uh, punt again. That was weird. I haven't seen something like that before. So, <laughs> I, I think we're going to punt again here, or unless someone changed the call again. Well, oh, the official. Here, here they now, come again. Here. Nope, he's back off the field. I think they're saying plan B. Oh, no, it's plan C. Oh, D, yeah. E. <laughs> We're going to go. He's one. There we go. Block. So Alvarez. Ball's going to be fair catch right at the 30 yard line. It's going to be a penalty on Christian Tober for hitting the, the fielder. That was number 10. Rugels and Tober just clipped him. He tried to get out of the way, but he clipped him, and that's going to go against San Clemente. I think when he calls for a catch, he's got to give him a yeah. five-yard area for him to catch the ball. 
So he, he, he just barely clipped him. He tried to get out of the way, but he did hit him. And so a penalty against San Clemente, and the ball's being marched out. That's going to be all the way up at the 45-yard line now, for back from the 30. So a 15-yard gain right there. Now uh, Mission Viejo has great field position again. 9-18 to go here in the second quarter. San Clemente trails 14-0. Single receiver to either side. Ruland up under center. A pass again complete on the left side. They keep throwing that same pass out to the 49-yard uh, line. The receiver just runs a hitch. San Clemente's playing deep coverage, and they're just running underneath on a little five-yard hitch. This time it was four-yard hitch. Tackle is made by Nico Roberti. So ball's right at the 49-yard line. 8.52 and ticking, 14-0. Mission Viejo here in the second quarter. Two receivers to the left. Lone setback, Yakamoto. And he gets across to the 48-yard line. Yoko, Yokoyama is, his, is the name. <laughs> so he picks up about three, four yards. So it's going to be third down and about three, a long three. The tackle is made by Landon Cook, the inside linebacker. Yokoyama is kind of not running as strong as he did the first quarter. He's kind of running the hole very gingerly like he has a leg injury or something. Two receivers to the left. This is a big third down for San Clemente defense. They need to stop him right here. Two receivers to the right. Two receivers to the left. San Clemente uh, jumps off sides. And it's going to be a first down mission on the penalty of San Clemente. Oh, my goodness. It's going to the 43-yard line. First down, Mission Viejo. We have a lot of listeners out there, about 170 listeners. Hey, we got Taylor Patton out there. Taylor, how you doing, man? Good to see you out there. Sacrifice trail at 14 nothing right now. Taylor played for Ben and I back in freshman days. I don't know, how long was that? Too About long. Seven years, maybe? Two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. Five-step drop. Right, open open receiver way. on the left side. Knocked out of bounds. Uh, maybe the 14-yard line where it's going to be first down. Mission uh, Viejo. Uh, tackle was made by number 20, Herbert Gamboa. Sacramento just does not have any answers for Mission's offense. So, first down, Mission Viejo, Sacramento trails, 14-0. Hey, Taylor Patton, remember that old uh, fog game up there at uh, wherever the heck that was, Santa Monica. Single receiver to the right, eye formation. The toss on the right side. Drop oh. for a loss. The running back, number 21, Pierce. That and that gets some noise from San Clemente benches. That tackle was made by Christian Bailey, who came up from a safety position to make that tackle. But San Clemente's defense has got to get motivated out there and get pumped up. They're, just, they're allowing Mission Diego to control their... Uh, control their what they do offensively and San Clemente can't come up with any answers defensively. So second down and 15, two receivers to the left, single receiver to the right, I formation. Five step drop, throws the screen on the right side, left side. The, it was complete to Yokoyama out to the 13 yard line. Tackle is made by number 30. 36 for Sacramento and that would be Xavier Washington who's been playing a lot tonight in place of uh, Marcus Meredith who was uh, injured earlier and Marcus hasn't been back. So third down and about eight and this is going to be timeout Mission Viejo. So timeout Mission Viejo. 6.17 to go in the second quarter. San Clemente ahead. 14 nothing. That's going to be a big third down and eight. So with that, we'd like to uh, thank our Friday Night Live sponsors, Greeks Concrete, our main sponsor, Doug Greek, Satusa, the Council for Educational Travel USA, Rick and Aya, 
Little Page Landscaping, Paul Little Page. Little Page Automotive, Mark Little Page. The OC Tavern, Michael Merrigan. Rocco Custom Remodeling, Reno and Greg. And South Coast Distributing, the Aaron's family. We appreciate the support of our Friday Night Live sponsors. They help you bring. They help us bring you this live video coverage. Been here for eight years now. These are ex Triton alumni and local businessmen. We appreciate their support. Make sure you go to our website, look under the sponsor page, and look under these sponsors and give them some business if you can. They're great people, and we appreciate their support. So this is going to be a big defensive play right now. For San Clemente, Jaime Ortiz out there getting them fired up. Ball's going to be right at the, looks like the 13-yard line. Third down and about eight. So is San Clemente going to be able to hold them to just a field goal here? And uh, so far, if you're just tuning in, tuning in late right now, it's been all pretty much Mission Viejo. Uh, San Clemente has not. They would think their mission is going to be throwing that little crossing pattern pass just to get closer to the for the field goal, and if they're lucky, they might get in a score. But they had two crossing patterns for passes that were successful, so I don't see why they wouldn't do it again. So spread formation, three receivers to the right. Bridgeford and Gunn, single receiver to the left. He tried to throw that fade to the corner on the last play, but it was a penalty. Blitz by San Clemente. Oh, ball's no. loose. Picked up. Still ball's on the ground again. It's going to be back at the 25-yard uh, line. I didn't see who made the hit. That was, uh, I can tell you as soon as. That uh, was Nico Roberti who came in from his outside linebacker and knocked the ball out of the Bridgeford's hands. And now Mission Viejo has to, has to settle for a field goal. So getting yeah. ready, get ready for the field goal right now. That's just the way the ball's the game's going for uh, San Clemente. That ball was knocked out of his hands and a bounce right back up into uh, his hands. And the kick is just, just good. That's the bottom left of the field goal. Just went over and Mission Viejo now leads 17 to nothing, 5:33. But you got to give it to the San Clemente defense. At least they uh, they stopped them there. They did their job. So San Clemente is going to get the ball now. There's plenty of time, 5:33 to go in this uh, second quarter. But San Clemente has got to move the ball. They got to get some points on the board. You just can't get behind Mission Viejo by a bunch of points. They're too tough. But San Clemente's a tough team. So now everybody's going to stand up again so we can't see. Well, San Clemente got hurt in that series with those two penalties where Landon Cook jumped off sides and Mission was able to get a first down. Then there was the uh, interference call. And the personal foul, San Clemente, and I tell you. personal foul. So here we go, getting ready for the kick. Mission kicking off right to left. This time it's going to be fielded. By Tober to the 5, to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, to the 24 yard line. Nice run back by Christian Tober. So they're going to have the ball on the 24 yard line moving left to right across the computer screen. 5.25 to go in the second quarter. San Clemente trails 17 0. And San Clemente offense, let's see what Troy Kopp can uh, come up with right now. San Clemente has got to get something going here. Ben, I think they've had one first down. Didn't they have one first one, down so one, far? One first down. In, was that three or four drives? Four? One. Four drives, I think. No. Three? Five drives. They Five? First one was a punt, second punt, third a punt, fourth a punt. Well, they punted on all of them, but they had one first down. So two receivers to either side, offset eye formation. Wilson up under center. Complete nice pass from Wilson to number 15, Chris French. Tackle. And there's Troy Cop opening up the offense. Uh, tackles made by number 10, Doug Ruggles for Mission. See, Mission, v Mission Viejo is, is they're, they're coming out and they're trying to take away San Clemente's strength, which is their running game. 
So uh, and, and they're they're daring Wilson to uh, throw, but Wilson, he's a dangerous quarterback, throwing the ball and running the ball. So let's see what Troy Cop and the San Clemente offense can come up with. Two receivers to the right. I formation. Wilson up under center. First down, give on the left side. Ellis Peru. And that's all the way out to the 42-yard line, where it's going to be second down and about four, maybe. And see, you, know, you start passing the ball a little bit. Now you open up the running game a little bit. So... If they can get Mission out of uh, putting eight in the box. Uh, tackles made by number 49, Daniel Anderson for Mission. Viejo. Two receivers to the right. Wilson up under center. Offset eye formation. Second down and about four. Wilson going to roll out to the left side. He may keep, oh, breaks the tackle. Not this time. And he gets drilled back at the... Uh, 37 yard line. Oh, he fumbled. There's no whistle. I think it's. They're saying that uh, the ball was. It live. was a fumble. It might have been a live ball. There was. And it is. Wilson fumbles. Mission Viejo picks it up and went goes in for a touchdown. And there was no whistle. It to me it looked like he was down. Wilson better get out. Wilson just went up there and screamed in the official's face, and they threw a penalty flag. He can't do that. He get himself tossed from the game. Wow. You know, unfortunately, because everybody stood up in front of us, we couldn't see what was happening on the sideline here, and apparently Wilson uh, fumbled the ball. And so Mission Viejo picked it up and went in for a score. Looks like they'll mark off the march off the penalty on the kickoff, but it's an unsportsmanlike penalty on Trevor Wilson. Yeah, Travis went down there and gave that one official an earful, and they threw the flag immediately. So it's now 23 nothing. Waiting for the PAT. The kick is up. And it's no good. It's off to the right. And the fans are cheering because they don't realize he missed it. So 23 to nothing. Four minutes to go here in the second quarter. And San Clemente did not need that happening. A uh, turnover goes for a touchdown. Mission Viejo. And now San Clemente's in the hole. 23 points against a tough Mission Viejo team. And I don't know what, what's going on out there now. A lot of booing. Well, that was a strange play <clears throat> as Trevor rolled out and it looked like he was running the whole way. He never even looked Or Travis who rolled to his right side and didn't even look like he was looking for a, a receiver and then got hit in the backfield and then he got to the sidelines. But from where we were, it looked, it looked to me like Travis was down, but we never heard a whistle. So apparently he was fumbling the ball as he went down, but I, don't, couldn't I, I, see. I think everybody was surprised as they saw the Mission Viejo kid pick the ball up and go. So the penalty is going to, the ball is going to be kicked off from the San Clemente 45 yard line. You know, they may just try to kick this a little bit short and try to pin back San Clemente inside the 10 yard line or so instead of trying to kick it out of the end zone. No, they're going to kick it. They're going to kick it to the next neighborhood. So San Clemente is going to take uh, take over first and ten. Ball's going to be at the twenty yard line, moving left to right across your computer screen. San Clemente trails twenty three to nothing. Four minutes to go in the second quarter. Well, everybody was hoping for a great game tonight between the number two and number three ranked teams of the county. Has just turned into a lopsided game and favor of Mission Viejo. San Clemente's offense has just not been able to get off track here. Yeah, that's, uh, uh, yeah, and again, you know, I mean, Mission Viejo has just taken away San Clemente's running game. And that is their strength. So we'll see what they can come with here. It's going to be timeout San Clemente, maybe? Yeah, I can. 
I think they had too many. They had uh, the wrong personnel out there or something. So with that time out, we'd like to thank our Friday Night Live sponsors. Greek's Concrete, our main sponsor, Doug Greek. Satusa, the Council for Educational Travel USA, Rick Anaya. Little Page Landscaping, Paul Little Page. Little Page Automotive, Mark Little Page. The OC Tavern, Michael Merrigan. Rocco Custom Remodeling, Reno and Greg. And South Coast Distributing, the Aaron's Family. We appreciate the support of our Friday Night Live sponsors, local businessmen and ex-Triton alumni donating to our Friday Night Live program. And we're here in our eighth year bringing you live video coverage of Triton football. And so far, this has been... Unfortunately, the Mr. Viejo show tonight. It's been an ugly football game for San Clemente. Um, I don't know what the coaches are going to come up with to uh, change the score. So, two split receivers, split backs, Wilson up under center. Three-step drop. Just off the hands of uh, Jake Graff. Ran a deep slant pass. Would have been a first down. Wilson just a little bit off throwing tonight. Now he's a tough kid, though. He's going to come. He's going to get it going here. So second down and 10. Second by trailing 23 to nothing here in the second quarter. 3.57 to go. Two receivers to the right. Two receivers to the left. Wilson and Gunn. Mission showing blitz. Wilson runs it. He's knocked out of bounds. Oh, boy, he comes over the sideline and jumps over the bench of uh, on the track here. It's like that play last week when he jumped over the defender at San Clemente. That was a highlight of no C varsity. So we were just saying Wilson, uh, his threat as uh, – as also a running back, and he just ran for about nine yards, so it's third down and one. And again, a third down situation. San Clemente has got to get a first down. 3.51 to go in the second quarter. San Clemente trails 23 to nothing. Eye formation, the give on the left side. Ellis Peru just gets across for a first down. So it's going to be first down San Clemente. That moves the chains. That's the second first down for San Clemente in this first half. Yeah, Mr. Vigo is doing a great job of containing Mike and not allowing him to get to the outside. That's where Mike does his best running. But he's been also able to get up the middle, and they just shut him down in the middle. So but just, I just guess you got to just keep running the ball. That's what San Clemente does best. So. Offset eye formation, Wilson up under center, single receiver to the left, single receiver to the right, and it's oh. going to be a penalty against San Clemente, I think. It's going to be offsides. Offside, Mission Viejo offsides. What I started to say is just a little bit ago, it's, it, started, it was smelling like uh, onion rings up here, man. And so I'm thinking, God, that smells so good. And then I look across the freeway. And you see the uh, outback over there, and so that's probably a blooming onion over there they're cooking. <laughs> so, are, are you hungry? Or something? Well, I'm hungry now. I don't have to go hit uh, outback after the game. <laughs> so instead of being onion rings, I'm sure that's what it is. Now I think of it, it smells like those blooming onions. I'm looking straight across the freeway, and now everybody in here is hungry in the booth up here. So first down and five. Single receiver to either side, offset eye formation. Wilson up under center. He's changing the play. Mission has a four-man front. Give on the left side. Maybe about three yards. Ellis Peru, so it's going to be second down and about two. A taco is made by number 35. Wes Hartman for Mission Viejo. 235 to go here in the uh, second quarter. San Clemente trying to get something going so we can put some points on the board. They don't want to go on the half, trailing 30, I mean 23 to nothing. Single receiver to the right, single receiver to the left. Blitz again, just off the heads of Ellis Peru. Wow. 
That time, uh, Mission Viejo came with a blitz, and it threw off the pass from Wilson, attempted to throw it to Ellis Peru. Yeah, number 10. Ah, uh, no, he hadn't. Oh, he is. Oh, now they're bringing it back. I told you it was Marking it back more. They're gonna so measure. they're going to measure. I still think he's going to be short. They picked the ball up, and they moved it back. Well, how else are you going to move it back? Hmm? How else are you going to move it back without picking the ball up? Hey, Ben. <laughs> Ben's back again. Ball's going to be, we'll see where they mark it. And oh, first down, Sacramento. Made it by half the length of the ball. So, first down, ball's going to be just inside the, what, 42-yard, right at the 42-yard line. 2.09 to go here in the second quarter. San Clemente trailing 23 to nothing. Ball's at the 42-yard line. So we'd like to hear from some of our Friday Night Live sponsors. Wilson trying to deep pass. Complete! Down to the 15-yard line. That's number Gamboa caught that great pass from Wilson to Gamboa. Ball's all the way to the 15-yard line, and that's exactly what San Clemente needed to do. Well, they can get they, down and get some points here. If they can get in the end zone in this series, they can get some momentum going and feel a little bit more confident when they come out for the third quarter. That was a nice pass from Wilson to Ellis Peru. And that's okay. been uh, Mission's, I mean Gamboa. That's been uh, Mission's game plan all night is uh, force Wilson to throw. Three-step drop. Complete to Tober. Maybe about a four-yard gain, maybe. Oh, he was tackled by a host of players down there. 104 and ticking. San Clemente trails in the second quarter, 23 to nothing. San Clemente better get moving here. Got 55 seconds. I formation, double tight. They're going to try to run it with Pasquale. They got a time and he out. gets down to the uh, seven yard line. So San Clemente tries running the ball with Pasquale. Tackle. Ball's going to be right at the seven yard line. Tackle was made by Ryan Harris for Mission Viejo. San Clemente's got, how much time do we have? You can we, see the clock. We now. got 39 seconds and it's third down and about two. That's plenty of time to run two plays. So a absolutely. I doubt if they're going to kick a field goal with being 23 points down. They need a, they need a TD to get in back in the game. Yeah, let's hope. It all depends on uh, what they do in this third down here. I, well, we'll see what happens. They need to make a first down. They need to get the ball in the end zone. So the ball's at the seven yard line. Third down and a long two. 39 seconds to go in the second quarter. Of course now this, uh, where we are is we have those big speakers to the right of us now. So we see half the offense on there. We can't see the whole play. Buffalo backfield, three backs. Wilson looking at the end zone. He had an open receiver. He doesn't see him. He had two open receivers. There were two open receivers in the end zone, and he didn't see them. Yeah, Chris. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Chris French open over the middle, and it looked like he had. Uh, uh, Might have been Bailey at the back of the end zone, also. Yeah, it was Bailey. So now it's going to be fourth down and uh, about two, and uh, San Clemente is probably is going to kick the ball here. They want to put some points on the board. Don't want to go in being shut out. So Miller's back kicking again. And that was almost blocked. That's no good. That was blocked by Mission Viejo. Are you kidding me? 
Mission Viejo blocks the field goal attempt. And it is now 23 to nothing with 29 seconds. And that was blocked by uh, number 21, Anthony Pierce for Mission. Well, he came untouched from the outside. The left side, now Sacramento has a chance to score, and they come away with nothing. Oh, my goodness. Sacramento did not need that. So they finally got down there into scoring position. And the, the, the field goal is, is blocked. And Mission Viejo is going to take a knee right now. And that's going to run out the clock here in the first quarter. We got 15 seconds to go. 23 nothing Mission Viejo. And uh, we're getting ready for uh, the halftime here. And San Clemente is going to have to go into, uh, go into the half and uh, try to figure out how to get some uh, points on the board. So far, Mission Viejo has uh, stopped San Clemente. They, they came in and their game plan was to stop the running game in San Clemente, and that's exactly what they've done. Had a few mistakes and a few penalties. You know, San Clemente hasn't, I mean, their offense has not been on tonight. They're being completely manhandled by the uh, Mission Viejo defense. And San Clemente's defense, if you're going to give me any credit, they've been out there the whole They sure long. have. And a lot of the kids are going both ways, so they might be getting a little bit exhausted. But the coaches are going to have to come up with something. That gets them back in the game, and I don't know what that is. Being 24 or 23 to nothing, it, to me it looks like uh, Travis is going to have to throw right off the bat and get us back in the ball game. But yeah, it looks like they're going to have to go into their passing offense. Yeah, I think so too, and I think that's what uh, that's what Mission has done all night is dared Wilson to throw the ball. So they're going to have to come out maybe just a, some short type of passing game, something to get them to uh, open it up a little bit so we can maybe then start running also. But down 23 points here at half. And before we sign off for the uh, halftime festivities here, we want to thank our Friday Night Live sponsors. Our main sponsor, Greeks Concrete, Doug Greek. Satusa, the Council for Educational Travel, USA, Rick Anaya. Little Page Landscaping, Paul Little Page. Little Page Automotive, Mark Little Page. The OC Tavern, Michael Merrigan. Rocco Custom Remodeling, Reno and Greg and South Coast Distributing Aaron's family. So we'll be back, folks, at uh, after halftime.
Okay, we're getting ready for the uh, second half here. Let's see what uh, San Clemente does uh, at halftime, what their plan is. We're going to have to kick the ball off to Mission Viejo. So we'll see what San Clemente comes up. They're going to have to. I think they're going to force Wilson to throw the ball, so we're going to see what happens. Uh, get ready for the kickoff here. Field at the 5, to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, to the 25. Mission Viejo is going to take over first and 10 at the uh, right at the 25 yard line moving left to right across your computer screen the score is 23 to nothing here in the the third quarter just the start of the third quarter and it's been all Mission Viejo and I wouldn't get too discouraged at this point because San Clemente has scored a lot of points in the second half so they just gotta get their offense in gear absolutely oh, they're one man short so here we go. And, you know, I think that that uh, Yokoyama, I think he's injured. He hasn't come back here since the first quarter. Eye formation tossed to the left, and as I say that, he's in there. And there he goes for, looks like for a first down. So I, I guess he's healed now. So <laughs> balls out to the 35-yard line. Tackle was made by Christian Bailey for San Clemente, the, one of the safeties. And... He was able to get to the outside. San Clemente hasn't been able to control him on his outside sweeps. So first and ten. Ball's going to be right at the 35-yard uh, line. Two receivers to the right. Bridgeford up under center. Roll out to the right side. He's got an open receiver again. To the just about to the 45 yard line. It's going to be about a half yard short of the first down. And Mission Viejo is starting where they left off. They're moving the ball, running and passing. Well, I would probably have done the same thing. Their run was so successful in the first half that they might have changed their offense and uh, decided to throw the ball the second half. I formation, single receiver to the right. To give on the right side to Yokoyama. And he gets to the 45-yard line where it should be a first down. It'll be close. First down that moves the chains. We're here in the, just started the second half in the third quarter. It's 10.45 to go. San Clemente trails 23 to nothing. And uh, San Clemente's going to have to figure out how to stop these Diablos. Yokoyama is out, out of the game right now as he was limping right now. He's over here on the sidelines, kind of favoring his right ankle. Remember last year when he played for Newport? He got injured when we played him up there. And uh, somehow he's over here at Mission. <laughs> Uh, his parents probably have a job over here. So with that, we got a timeout. We want to thank our Friday Night Live sponsors. Our main sponsor, Greeks Concrete, Doug Greek. Satusa, the Council for Educational Travel, USA, Rick and Aya. Little Page Landscaping, Paul Little Page. Little Page Automotive, Mark Little Page. The OC Tavern, Michael Merrigan. Rocco's Custom Remodeling, Reno and Greg. And South Coast Distributing, the Aarons Family. I'd like to thank our Friday Night Live sponsors ex Triton alumni and local businessmen who support Friday Night Live and sponsor us and allow us to bring you live video coverage in our eighth year. And undefeated San Clemente, 8-0 taking on Mission Viejo, who has two losses this year. And right now, San Diego is in trouble. Oh, San Diego. San Clemente is in trouble. The give on the left side. And that was the Austin Rulin, who normally is a receiver. And he's all the way out to the 46-yard line of San Clemente, Austin, second down and one. Austin's two other brothers play here at Mission, and uh, Conrad right now, his oldest brother, is playing with the 49ers. And his other brother's uh, playing right now at Stanford. Single receiver to the right, single receiver to the left. Lone setback is ruined. 
who normally is a receiver. He's playing for Yogayama. And by Sacramento, they're going to call a penalty on Sacramento. By Pasquale to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Sacramento, but I think that's coming back. I think it's a penalty. I don't know. We'll see. There's a penalty flag. I don't know. I, uh, I think that may be Pat. I, gotta, I hope that's not on the defense, but I think it might be. I think so because the Mission Viejo coach is waving their players to go to the uh, goal line. So I think it is against Mission. So maybe that that's the play that gets No, it's, it's, against, it's against Mission. That's a yeah. touchdown, Sacramento. And that uh, touchdown is brought to you by Greeks Concrete, Doug Greek. Nice interception by uh, Nick Pasquale. They threw the flag, and they said that the Mission Viejo player had grabbed onto Nick. Yeah, I saw the uh, Mission coach just wave his players to stay down at the end zone because he knew it was going to be against a Mission. Right now, number 16 is getting a talking to by Bob Johnson. I think he's getting a little ripping football advice. So getting ready for the uh, PAT. And, hey, Coach, just think on that last drive by San Clemente where uh, he missed the field goal. We had two open receivers in the end zone. We score here, score there. It's 23-14. to 14. Not Right now it's 23-7. to 7. The kick is up, and it's good. And San Clemente now has points on the board, 9.39 to go here in the third quarter. San Clemente ahead, 23-7. to seven. I mean, San Clemente behind, 23-7. to seven. Well, San Clemente can score. We've been uh, behind, not necessarily this far behind, at the halftime. And they were able to come back and score enough points to win the ball game. So, San Clemente averages just under 33 points per game. So, the offense shouldn't have any problems scoring. I thought the defense was going to have problems. But it's the offense that hasn't been able to get get it going and here the defense steps up makes an interception and scores so great job by the Sacramento defense that's then, what they needed to do and I didn't see a penalty but missions getting penalized and we have not been able to run the ball tonight and that's what mission came in here trying to do and they have stopped our running game so they're putting the game on Travis Wilson's uh, shoulders and he is a tough quarterback a tough kid so, San Clemente, let's see if we can get it done here. They got to stop mission right here. They just did it on the last one. The kick by Gonzalez, it goes through the uprights. <laughs> so, Mission Viejo is going to get the ball on the 20-yard line, moving left to right across the computer screen. 9.39 to go in the third quarter. San Clemente behind, 23-7. to And too bad they didn't score a touchdown on that last drive, boy. He had two receivers. Be much nicer looking at a 23 to 14 game. But let's see what San Clemente can defense can do. They've played great all year. Can they stop Mission Viejo? And Ruland is still in as a running back. He's brought down at the 25 yard line. Looks like Yokoyama is still injured, or he's still out on the sideline. Uh, it'd be he's trying to work his leg, trying to get back in the game. That tackle was made by number 20, Herbert Gamboa. So we got second and five yards to go. Sacramento can get the momentum going if uh, they can hold him here. So Ruland is normally a receiver, doing a good job of running the ball. Two receivers to the left, double tight. Ruland, the lone setback, Bridgeford up under center. They give on the left side to Ruin. He gets out to the 29-yard line. Penalty flag. It looks like it's going to be against Mission. Let's see who it's on. Shoving going on. It's uh, against Mission, just a matter of finding the number. I think it's number 78. Personal foul, they're going to take it back. All right, so this is the way, this is what San Clemente needs now. I couldn't pick up the number of the mission player. Uh, there's a lot of people shoving in that thing. 
It's normally the second guy that gets caught. You see John Hamro, he's out there standing on the hash mark. Well, here's uh, Sacramento's opportunity to hold him here and get the ball back. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, Bob Johnson's a little upset. He's out on the field. So, two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. They should penalize him. He can't walk out there like uh, that. Oh, that's Bob Johnson. I know. That's right. They let him do it. He does it when he comes to our house. Oh, and he gets another penalty. Good. Maybe they called him. Or no, they hadn't marked it off yet, had they? So ball's going to be back at the 15-yard line. Third down and 15. This is a huge play for Sacramento right here. Passing situation. Wide oh, open. open for a first down. Wow. He was wide open. Oh, my goodness. And that was a 15-yard pass. It was doing a crossing over the middle, and he didn't have a defender around him. It's going to be just short. It's about a half yard short. And Bob Johnson is still screaming. He's going to go for it. Nope. Bring in the kicking team. I'm surprised, he, well, I'm surprised he's not going for it the way they run the ball. Well, Even with Ruin back there, he's still, uh, still doing a good job running the ball. But Sacramento looks like, do they have too many guys on the field? Uh, there still could be a fake right here. Yep. They only have to go up. Because Ruland, if they snap it to Ruland, he could run it. Now they're going to kick it. Tober's back. He's going to field it at the 40. The 45 to the 50 to the, the 40. Oh! Up and over the defender. There's a flag. To the 37-yard line. And there's a flag down. I got a feeling it's against Mission. He flew through the air. Boy, that's a getting to be a thing with San Clemente now. <laughs> that's the third time, isn't it? Yep. Get oh, San Clemente. It's holding. Wow. I don't think that was holding. Not like this. No. Oh, the referee's injured. Okay, it's back at coming back to the 48-yard line now. See, it's holding. Up. Block. That's not. Anyway, penalty for against Sacramento comes back. So Sacramento is going to take over now. Offset I formation. Single receiver to the right, single receiver to the left. And is Wilson going to come up throwing because they're still up in the box trying to stop the run. To give to Gamboa for about three yards. They just aren't getting the holes like they have been. This tough uh, Mission, De De Vi Mission Viejo defensive line. Uh, tackle is made by number 49, Daniel Anderson. Uh, no pressure on Sacramento, but they got to get in and score in this series. Exactly. High formation. Single receiver to either side. Wilson up under, uh, up under center. Pass intercepted to the 50, to the 40. It's going to be brought down at about the 33-yard line. Oh, my goodness. Wilson threw an interception and came right back to admission. Ball is going to be spotted at the 33-yard line of San Clemente. That interception was by number 40, Ryan Harris, the outside linebacker. But, wow. He's uh, one of their team captains. So, 33-yard line. Now, Mission Viejo has the ball back. A huge interception by Mission Viejo. They're trying to uh, force Wilson to throw the ball. Two receivers to the left. 
Ruin, the lone setback. The give to Ruin. And man, they're opening some holes for him. He's all the way down to the 25 yard line. So that's an eight yard gain. Tackle was made by Herbert Gamboa from San Clemente. And Ruin is allowing Mission to have an easy second and third down because he's breaking off five and six yards at a time. Okay, second down about two. Single receiver to the right, single receiver to the left. Rulin, the lone back, the give up to Rulin on the right side. And he gets across for a first down again to the 19-yard line. And uh, Rulin is becoming the story here for Mission running the ball. First down, Mission Viejo. So we got a lot of listeners in here listening to this game. Next week, San Clemente has a bye. And then the final game is going to be against Tesoro at San Clemente. So timeout, Mission Viejo, and Bob Johnson wasn't too happy about that. They only had 10 men on the field. With that uh, timeout, I want to thank our Friday Night Live sponsors. Our main sponsor, Greeks Concrete, Doug Greek. Satusa, the Council for Educational Travel USA, Rick Anaya. Little Page Landscaping, Paul Little Page. Little Page Automotive, Mark Little Page. The OC Tavern, Michael Merrigan. Rocco Custom Remodeling, Reno and Greg. And South Coast Distributing, the Aarons Family. We appreciate the support of all of our Friday Night Live sponsors, local businessmen and ex-Triton alumni. So Mission Viejo has to use a timeout. 6.41 to go here in the third quarter. San Clemente Trails, 23 to 7. So Ben just had a good question out there. Anybody out there listening to this game, did they see what the final of the World Series game was tonight? Somebody get in our live chat. Let us know uh, what the score was, if you don't mind. Spread formation, three receivers to the left. To give the Ruin, I got a huge hole again. Down to the 13-yard line. And Ruin, he's given six, seven, eight yards a carry. The tackle was made by Chad Foster, Sacramento's inside linebacker. But, boy, he just, uh, he just picking up chunks of yards on that running game. There's no reason to uh, not give, still give him the ball. Oh, they're just going to pound it with him. Two receivers, one to either side. Ruined on the left side. It's going to be dropped at about the nine, maybe. It's a nice tackle. Herbert Gamboa made the tackle in the last play on on Rulin. So here we go. And there's no reason not to give him the ball again. He keeps eye formation. Yards. This time he's got a blocking back for him up back. Mission Viejo trying to draw Sacramento off. Ruin, oh, he was hit before he got the line, but he was able to push forward. It's going to be close. Tackles made by Christian Bailey, number 30. And that's not a good sign when you're I think he's just short. Your safeties are coming up and having to make tackles. Oh, St. Louis won. St. Louis won the game tonight. So fourth and about a half a yard. Mission's going to go for it. Can San Clemente stop him? Ruland, he dives across for the first down. He's all the way down to the six-yard line. So first and goal, ball's going to be about the six-yard line. Tell you, that, that interception right there, that Mission Viejo got that uh, 
That was the killer. That that was not good. They're so far they've they're they're driving the ball. They haven't been able to stop ruling on this drive. Now we're kind of trying to sneak next door here and look out the window to our right so we can see a little bit better. This is my window. Yeah, this is your window. Yeah. Single receiver to either side. Ruling the lone setback. The give on the right side. Ruling, and he's into the end zone, standing up. And oh. Mission Viejo has scored again to make it 29 to seven. There's a, this is an all Austin Ruling offense, oh. offensive series because he He's, just took Mission all the way into the end zone. He sure did. He took over for Yokoyama, who's uh, I guess injured, and he hasn't missed a beat. Yeah, he went in for six yards there. He went in untouched, standing up, getting ready for the uh, PAT. Kick is no good again. So 29 to 7, Sacramento trails. 3.58 to go in the third quarter. And Sacramento, they got to get something going here. They still got time, but they're running out of time. And we could have scored at the end of that half. And then that uh, last interception, that hurt. Sacramento's tough. They got to come back here. Well, it's, it's uh, a little difficult trying to find some positive things here. Well, we're eating no so far. So far. <laughs> Still. Game's not over. we got a lot of time, so they just got to get, we got to get down there and score. We can't turn the ball over. We can't make any mistakes. Getting ready for the kick again. Of course, every time that we kick, everybody stands up in front of the windows. So Pasquale and Tobert. Tobert feels at the 4 to the 5 to the 10 to the 15 to the 20 to the about the 24-yard line where Sacramento is going to take over first down, moving right to left across your computer screen. I know this doesn't have anything to do with uh, the football game here, but that World Series game last night was unreal. That was the most exciting World Series game I've ever seen. I'm not a big baseball fan, but that was something else. Yeah, Texas was down to the to the last One drive. Last, yeah, last twice strike. And couldn't pull it out, and then they lose tonight. Here we go. Eye formation. Single receiver to the left. Looks like San Clemente's still going to run the ball. Mission still eight guys in the box trying to take it away. And that time, Gamboa. Gets out to the 33-yard line. Nice job by uh, by Ellis Peru. I mean, gets out at about a yard short, second down and one. Talk, talk was made by number 40, Ryan Harris, and number one, Max Ritfield for Mission Viejo. Now, that's the running game that we're used to seeing. Let's see if we can keep it up here. And again, Mission, they're trying to take away this running game. They got eight guys up in that box trying to take it away. I formation. Three step drop. Complete. I dropped it. Oh. He threw it to Jake Graff. They're going to say complete. I, I, I will take it, but I look like Graff oh. dropped it. But they're saying it was complete. And watch Bob Johnson now. Oh. He's out standing on the 40 yard line. You think he had the ball? You think he had the ball? Oh, okay. Does uh, Bob know what the score is? So I formation. The run up the middle by Gamboa gets out to the 43-yard line. Maybe, and it's going to be second down and six. Tuck was made by number 30, Colin Zundar. 2.41 and ticking. Sacramento trails 29-7. Santa Clemente trying to get a little scoring drive here. I think Bob Johnson is the only one who can throw a temper tantrum on the field and nobody get, nobody will give him a flag. Oh, he, he gets away with it all the time. Like I said, he's been down to San Clemente, done that so many times, just going, how do they let him do that? Eye formation. Penalty flag. 
offsides against Mission. So Mission's starting to make a few mistakes here. San Clemente's got time. They got to uh, get out and score, then hopefully score, get it in before the fourth quarter, and then uh, try to put a couple touchdowns and a two point conversion. But they can't catch up running the ball. They've got to start throwing it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Just San Clemente's just been off a little bit tonight. Ellis Peru gets across the 50-yard line for a first down San Clemente. So San Clemente first and 10, 148 to go here in the third quarter. I want to thank our Friday Night Live sponsors again. Greeks Concrete, Satusa, Little Page Landscaping, Little Page Automotive, the OC Tavern, Rocco Custom Remodeling on South Coast Distributing. So I formation. They're shifting now to a bunch formation. Three receivers on the right. And a blitz. Wilson complete on the left side to Tober. And he got he jumped up. And a penalty flag. Is that going to be against Mission? I wouldn't even know what the flag would be for. They can't really be spearing, I don't think, because Tober jumped up in the air. It's personal foul against San Clemente. What? Why is that a personal foul? What the heck did they call it? Was Tober? All he did was jump up over the defender. I have no idea what that call was. Personal foul, San Clemente, but what? Hey, that's what gets you when you jump all over the referees. You'll get those calls. You know, it, it was on the play that Tober when he jumped up. I wonder if, I don't know if they're saying, I don't know what that was. Unless they're, unless they're saying somehow he tried to kick him or something. I mean, that doesn't, that doesn't mean he just tried to jump over him. But there was definitely the play. On that play, there was nobody else around. They give up the inside. So, oh, Chad Foster gets the ball on a carry. Played fullback for us, Ben and I, on our freshman team three years ago. Now he's in uh, his last year at varsity. So uh, three seasons ago he played for us. Now it's his fourth season. He's a senior. So is that time uh, injury? So uh, Mission to, uh, D Mission Viejo player down on the field. And we want to thank our Friday Night Live sponsors since we got a little break here. We want to thank our main sponsor, Greeks Concrete, Doug Greek. Satusa, the Council for Educational Travel, USA, Rick Anaya. Little Page Landscaping, Paul Little Page. Little Page Automotive, Mark Little Page. The OC Tavern, Michael Merrigan. Rocco Custom Remodeling, Reno and Greg. And South Coast Distributing, the Aarons family. We appreciate the support of our Friday Night Live sponsors. So second down and nine. 28 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Offset eye formation. Single receiver to either side. Third quarter. I mean, not the fourth quarter. And the give on the left side. Uh, the ball's already been blown dead. It's rolling around, but it was blown dead. That was Nick Pasquale. He's out to the 45-yard line. The whistles were blowing. The play was dead, and then the ball popped out. So ball's right at the 45-yard line of Mission Viejo. And that's going to be the end of the uh, third quarter. San Clemente trails 29-7. to And San Clemente, they got to get down there and score quickly if they're going to get back in this game. They need three scores. Yeah, that's why I don't understand they're still with the running game. Running game's not going to get them uh, three TDs. They've got to be able to throw the ball, but I don't know. I don't think they can get three TDs in, in one quarter unless the defense comes up with a couple of big plays. Well, it's, uh, you know, they got to score 21 points. 
and uh, and uh, one of them also being a the a two point conversion. And so Sacramento now has one quarter to score three times, and they got to move that ball. Uh, and while we're at the break here of the quarter, we want to again thank our Friday Night Live sponsors, Greeks Concrete, Doug Greek, Satusa, the Council for Educational Travel USA, Rick Anaya, Little Page Landscaping, Paul Little Page, Little Page Automotive, Mark Little Page, the OC Tavern, Michael Merrigan, Rocco Custom Remodeling, Reno and Greg, and South Coast Distributing, Aaron's family. We appreciate the support of our Friday Night Live sponsors. Still got about 160 listeners out there. Stay tuned. Don't leave yet. We got plenty of time, but San Clemente needs to score quickly. They need to score three times in this fourth quarter if we're going to be able to win this ball game, or at least tie it up. They give on the left side. It appears they're going to just keep running the ball. Yeah, it looks like they're going to stay with their... So 38-yard line. It's going to be fourth down and about maybe three to 37-yard line. So fourth down and three. Now, Sacramento, if they lose this game, will be under pressure next week because they're going to be playing to Soro. After the bye week then. They've got to they've win that one to come in second because uh, Absolutely. if they come in third, they might not get picked for the playoffs. Well, the top three teams go. It's There's no at-large team. And that's offside Mission Viejo. Good job by Sacramento. Went on a hard count, and Mission Viejo jumped offside. So first down, Sacramento. Okay, so Sacramento first down. They got to move quickly. They got to get down and score. A lot of fans over there on the San Clemente side. A lot of fans on the Mission side. This is the big dogs going at it. And San Clemente still battling. Wilson up under center. Offset backs. Receiver to the right. Receiver to the left. Wilson's going deep. Well defended by Mission Viejo. Tried to hit Tober. And he's well defended by Mission Viejo. On the coverage was Anthony Pierce, number 21. So incomplete pass. Ball's second down. Ball still at the 40 or 38 yard line of Mission Viejo. San Clemente trails 29 to 7, 11 08 to go in the fourth quarter. And San Clemente has got to move the ball and get down and score. I formation to give on the left side. They're running it still. This time they get about no gain. Maybe one yard, maybe two. Well, unless San Clemente's just thrown in the towel and trying to work on their running game for next week, but it doesn't look like they're making any exerted effort to get in the end zone. So third down and about eight. Actually, ne ne next week's the bye. Then we got uh, Tesoro the week after that. And that's going to come down. Well, let's see what happens here. It's not over yet. Spread formation. Three receivers to the right. Single receiver to the left. Wilson and Gunn. It's a big third down. They're going to have to go for uh, it's two down territory right here. Wilson. Nice catch by uh, Pasquale down to the 21-yard line. That was a great throw by Wilson to Nick Pasquale, who's a gamer. And there's a Travis we know. Uh, he was There's a lot of fight in Travis. There's no give up in this guy, ne ne Nick, neither. Uh, Nick was being covered by number one, Max Redfield, for Mission Viejo. So Sacramento gets first down, trying to get out first. 